Hey guys, welcome back to the Glam Fam. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you're having a wonderful day so far. I am bringing you another vintage hair tutorial, this time a wet set. This is going to be another two-part series on how to do a vintage set. So this week I'm going to be talking about my tips and techniques on how to do a wet set. And then next week it will be the Page Boy wet set brush out. So make sure you come back for that. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notifier. That way you're never left out and you're always knowing when in one of my videos premiere because that's like super fun and important and I'm trying to do premieres where I can stay and chat with all of you guys and if that's something that you really enjoy from other youtubers let me know put it down in the comments thread I love hearing from you guys so if you'd like to see how I do my wet set and what techniques I use to cultivate it then please come and hang out with me get into the actual physical part of the tutorial there are some things that I want to share just to kind of help you guys um, get everything together if you're going to be following along at home the first thing is sponge rollers you can find these at local beauty salons and shops I'm going to be using these beautiful pink rollers that I picked up at my local beauty salon a setting lotion is extremely important, so I'll be using a lot of body today. You're also going to want a teasing comb for sectioning out your hair and brushing through uh, with the setting lotion. This is a Cleopatra teasing comb. You're going to want a couple bobby pins. Um, bobby pins are important. And a hairnet and possibly a silk scarf, especially if you're going to be sleeping in these babies overnight. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I am about to start my wet set and my hair is slightly damp. And you might be wondering why I'm standing up. So the truth is I find it a lot easier to stand up when I'm doing my hair than sitting down. If you are like me and you prefer standing up, let me know. Um, put it down in the comments thread because I read your comments and I love interacting with you guys that way. Or if you sit, let me know. Let me know your favorite way to do your hair, whatever style it is that you do. I'd love to know. So I'm standing up today just to kind of make me feel a little bit more comfortable and at ease doing this tutorial. If you are watching this out of curiosity, but you really prefer a hot set, I did put out a hot set tutorial a couple weeks ago. I will put them in the description box and you can go and you can check them out. Now, the reason that I do my wet sets on slightly damp hair, and when I say slightly damp, I mean like that it's almost dry. So I'm gonna kind of do a 360 for you guys to see. And the reason for that is if it is completely 100% dry, it literally lends itself to frizz. Now everybody's hair is different. If your hair is prone to frizz, you might want to try a set that is slightly damp. I do not recommend doing a wet set on soaking, sopping wet hair, hair that you just got out of the shower with. You definitely want to towel dry it, even blow dry it to where it's only 20% moisture left in the hair. Anything greater than that, I think it takes way too much time for the wet set to dry, even if it's overnight, um, or if you're going underneath a dryer, which I will be throwing in a sneak peek of my vintage dryer for all of you guys to see today. That will be coming up shortly in a little bit. Um, but that is what I have found has been the best for me personally, is getting my hair 20% of the way dry and then going in and using my setting lotion. I am gonna take a little bit more time, just like my hot set was very in-depth, my wet set's going to be the same way. I just found that that's the way that I learn. And if it annoys you or bothers you in any way, I'm sorry, you can always fast forward, but let me know in the comments thread if you do enjoy very in-depth tutorials. I try not to make my videos any longer than 20 minutes, but sometimes I can't help it. This is the Lot of Body Mousse, and it is a setting lotion. Lot of Body has a plethora of different like mediums that you can choose from you can do the mousse which is what I'm going to be using in this tutorial today you could do a spray you could do a full strength where you mix it yourself equal parts of water depending on the type of hair you have that might be a really good avenue if you find that your hair just will not hold no matter what you do but some of the people that I have talked to and some of the lessons and the classes that I've given even here you know one-on-ones because I do freelance um, they have a hard time with their wet sets and usually it comes down to two factors 
features, their haircut and their setting lotion. I do have a video dedicated to how my hair is cut. That will be in the description box if you want to check it out. But your haircut does play a lot in how your set's going to come out and look during the brushing out process. The other factor is a setting lotion. There are a lot of really great setting lotions on the market. So don't think that you have to get the Lotta Body. It's just the one that I have tried and works really well for my hair. I have fine hair. I have a lot of it, but it's fine in texture. What the Lotta Body is going to do is it's going to help create um, really soft defined curls it's going to condition the hair it's going to help tame frizz because it has coconut oil in the formulation but it also is really good for wrapping the hair whether you're doing pin curling you're using the cloth wraps you're using the the wands or even the sponge roller so today the tools that i'm going to be using to create my wet set are going to be these really cute pink sponge rollers and i will be talking a little bit about these and the sizes that i use and why but i really wanted to kind of explain and express to you that getting the correct lotion, the setting lotion is very vital in how your hair is going to set and how it's going to come out. So if anything, if there's anything that you take away from this particular video, find a setting lotion that works for your hair. A leave-in conditioner is not a setting lotion. It's a leave-in conditioner, meaning that it's only conditioning your hair. It's not molecularly changing the structure and the shaft of your hair to retain and maintain a curl. Now, there are some fantastic ladies that I have watched to kind of cleave a whole bunch of this knowledge from. I'm going to list their channels in the description box, but just to kind of shout them out here in appreciation, it would be the Cherry Doll Face, Miss Lady Lace, and Miss Victory Violet. All three of those ladies have brought fabulous hair tutorials to their channels and I just think that it's really great to share those kind of things on YouTube so that you can kind of cleave and create the best uh, set for yourself. So once I have brushed out the tangles in my hair, I'm going to part it. Now I like a deep side part. Um, I do have a scar from a childhood accident right in my parting line. So that's how I usually find it very easily. The other thing that I do is I section off the crown. And I find that this is extremely helpful. I do the same thing in my hot set. And I learned how to do this from doing wet sets and watching Miss Lady Lace. So I'm just going to section this piece off here because this is going to help me create my Page Boy S-Wave. I do style my hair in like a page boy style, so this is going to help with the brush out. So once my hair is parted off, now I'm going to go in and I'm going to start rolling my hair. And it's pretty basic, it's pretty simple. I will grab sections using my fingers, and I would say they're about an inch, maybe almost two inches long, so an inch, inch and a half. And I just kind of hold that. I'm going to do my best for you guys to see the entire hair shaft, but there's only so much I can do in my room. And I put the mousse directly on the hair and then use my hands to really rake that through. The other thing that I like to do to make sure I've evenly distributed the setting lotion is I use my Cleopatra's my, as I use my Cleopatra Rat Tail Comb and I just lightly brush it through. The one thing that I love about this setting lotion is that it is conditioning to help keep flyaways at bay. So it really detangles the hair while you're using it. Now I'm just going to be rolling my hair down right on top of my scalp, which is on base, and clipping that sponge roller in place. Now maybe you haven't used sponge rollers before and you're thinking, Audrey, you did that way too quick. So we're gonna go through it in slow-mo. I'm gonna get my other pink sponge and you have to understand that the pink sizes are actually called extra large. They come in a pack that looks very similar to this and they call them extra large foam rollers or an inch and a half. Now, hot rollers are completely different than sponge rollers in the sense that these actually compress and shrink down, whereas a hot roller won't. So sometimes using a bigger roller at the top of your head will create more of a easier wave to brush out, which is why I use the pink ones on the top section of my hair and will switch to a different size throughout the bottom half of my hair. So I'm going to grab this section of hair. I'm going to take my foam. I'm going to squirt it 
into my hair, evenly distribute it. My key tip here is try to start at the end of your hair. Some people will wrap their hair around, which is fine, but I have found that it's a lot easier to just wrap the end around the sponge and then roll it down right on top of your scalp so that the roller is sitting on base. If you aren't rolling straight down, but maybe you're rolling back, you're not going to get the volume. So I have a lot of volume in my wet sets and a lot of girls ask me, how do you do that? And I do it by the way that I roll. So rolling is a very important technique to a successful wet set. So I'm going to just do another sponge roller here. Roll it down. And then you're going to clip the sponge roller in place. Okay, so I've put three rollers in on the top crown portion of my hair. Now I will go ahead and do the side right next to it, which is the front portion of my face where the angle of my hair actually starts, where the angle of my haircut actually starts, I should say properly. And these I do in a different size. So I will now switch to a one inch sponge roller. The one inch sponge rollers for where I get them from are this really pretty kind of green shade. And I use the same technique, I just am changing the size. And you might ask why I'm doing that. Well, when it comes to different sponge roller sizes, this is a half, one and a half inch, like I mentioned before. The green is actually an inch in size. Of course, when it is compressed and sized down, it comes out to almost be like half inch curls, which I really love because they're gonna give me a little bit of a tighter roll and around the framing of my face. I just like the way that it looks and it helps me create my page boy style a lot easier. So I use one of the big pink curlers for this back section. In fact, I'm going to do the rest of the top portion of my hair with the extra large pink foam rollers. I have spent a lot of time uh, doing my hair in a wet set over the last several months and I started off using the green um, one inch foam rollers and unfortunately they make the S wave so tight that it just does not look um, as dreamy and sexy as I want it to. So I started doing them with the pink um, and that came out a whole lot better. So one of the tips I'm going to give that I shared in my hot set is that when you are trying to cultivate that S wave, there's a couple different things that you can do. Make sure this is tight in here. You are going to want to roll this one in particular down and around and in however this middle section right here because you divide your hair in three sections you're going to want to roll it the opposite way instead of going out and in you're going to go up and in so for instance 
This went up and in this way. This one's going to go up and in this way. So the two are meeting together in the middle, kind of like a heart. And the reason I do this is it really helps to cultivate that S wave without you having to spend a million years trying to roll your hair and get it to conform that way. Um, it's something that I picked up watching some old vintage um, tutorials from the 40s, but also reading some vintage manuals and manuscripts about, you know, different ways, I got that right on my forehead, different ways that you can roll the hair to achieve different waves. And so I just started doing it. And it's a tip that I love sharing for those of you who want to cultivate an S wave, but you want to kind of cheat the system a little bit. And of course, this last piece, you're just going to roll normal. So this is how your wet set should look if you are following along with me at home. Okay, so one of the last tips that I wanna share is using, and you can really only do this if you're using a spray type of setting lotion, not a foam. I happen to have both lot of body versions in the foam and in the spray. I just took it out of its container and put it in this little cute spray bottle. But what I like to do is I will go through and lightly spray my hair. Something that I saw Miss Victory Violet do and I started doing it and I really liked my results. And really what it does is it helps to kind of set and saturate your hair just a little bit extra because the setting lotion kind of permeates, permeates, permeates or permeates, tomato, tomato, um, throughout the hair shaft. And it's so thin, it just kind of coats everything. If there were any spots that you might have missed, doing this is just a little bit extra insurance to make sure that everything is coated and ready to set. So the other thing that I like to do is roll the sponge rollers over. For instance, this sponge roller right here, you can see the bar going across. If you were to leave your hair to set that way, it would leave a dent. So one of the ways that I avoid the dents is I turn the sponge roller lightly so that the bar is now pointed down and that there's nothing going along this parting of my hair. To help keep it in place, I take a bobby pin and I stick that bobby pin right down inside, running into the hair underneath the sponge. And I do that for all my sponge rollers that are sitting, that are sitting at the crown of my head. Because when I take these sponge rollers out, if I don't do that, you definitely will see a dent. Finally, it is hairnet time, and I really do encourage this. Go and grab yourself a large mesh hairnet. This will help if you're sleeping in your sponge rollers. And what I do is I put this on, and it helps to hold the sponge rollers in place, especially while you're sleeping, so that they don't get knocked out. And I've just stretched my hairnet so that it covers all of my sponge rollers. And then these sponge rollers that you have turned so that you don't get a dent, they're held in place as well with the net. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I hope that you've really enjoyed this video and the tips that I have to share. Please let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell notifier so you're never left out. I post new videos every Friday around 4 o'clock, and I'd love for you to come back and hang out with me, especially so that you don't miss part two, which is going to be the Page Boy brush out from this particular wet set. Um, I'm literally going to get this as dry as soon as possible so that I can film that for you so you can see how everything unfolds. All my social media handles will be in the description box if you want to come and hang out with me on Instagram or even check me out on Facebook. All of that will be down below. I hope that you sweetie pies have a fantastic rest of your week week and that you will come back and hang out with me. If you all have any particular questions about the sponge rollers or what I'm using or where I pick things up, make sure you put that in the comment section. Again, I would love to know, do you do your hair standing up or sitting down? Don't forget about that. Make sure you pop it down below. You all have a fantastic rest of your week and make sure you stay kind and glamorous to one another. And I will see you all very soon. They are wonderful. Ooh.